Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 as we are playing as Italy in the Emperor expansion. Alright, so uh, this, this episode is likely going to be focused mostly on peace uh, as we try and improve our economy, pay off all those all those loans that we took. We have currently three loans that we need to get paid off. Uh, that's 1,184 worth of debt, though that does include the, uh, uh, the interest that we're slowly paying back every month. Uh, and then we also need to improve our manpower. We are uh, way below our maximum manpower, so we need to improve that as well. Uh, so during this period of peace, I think it would be a very good time to start the annexation of Venetians. However, we do have to get their opinion up a bit higher, uh, because you have to have it at 190. We're not quite there. So we're going to improve their opinion, and then we'll try and uh, annex the Venetians. Oh yes, there's one other thing we need to do. We need to take these guys off of Mothball and then bring a army over to Corsica. Considering the fact that we do have a chance of a rebellion there. Let's so bring these guys back here and Mothball them once again. Alright, so we are now looking at 38.65, 39.23 now that we Mothballed those ships. And uh, we've got another core done. That does mean we can make this into a state if we so desired. Uh, does that result... It doesn't look like it's going to increase our income much. We do have a lot of governing capacity left. Uh, obviously, we're going to want this the southern uh, part of uh, Italy here. And then if we were to conquer Savoy at any time, we'd want to put that as an estate. And then, of course, Sicily. Uh, so, I mean, we got plenty of room, I feel. Uh, so, we might as well make them a state. Uh, it does say we're not going to make any money from this. I sometimes wonder if that's actually true, though. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, because, yeah, it said we wouldn't get anything from it. And maybe that was right. Uh, we do need to core all this, don't we? I'm just going to core all of them. 265. Uh, admin power. Do we have excess admin power? Uh, and we could also get this depth little tech here. But again, I'm kind of waiting for it to get a little bit cheaper than it currently is. Maybe down to like 50% of the cost. Uh, we can also convert uh, these Muslim provinces now that they've been cored. Uh, so let's go ahead and start with the one that's going to take the least amount of time. And that's 59 months. It's going to take a while to get this done. And of course, we do have to pay maintenance on that priest as well, so that is going to cost a bit of money. I'm just trying to see how much it's costing us. 1.56 per month. Uh, so it does take a little bit of money to keep him working, but I think overall it result in a lot more money in the future once we get them converted. And really, that's all we can really do to help our lack of religious unity. Uh, we can go and repay this loan, so let's go ahead and do that. So that's one of our three loans that is now paid off. Uh, as far as the religious unity goes, we're sitting at 63% right now, uh, and I think they're still converting more of our provinces, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, actually, no. Looks like they have moved on uh, after converting, what is this, like three, four, five, six, seven, uh, nine provinces total? Uh, well, I think that Corsica, yeah, Corsica was already one. So, yeah, nine provinces. Those uh, Reformation centers converted before they moved on to somebody else. Uh, so yeah, we were hit kind of hard in that regard. Uh, we could go ahead and pay off another loan here. Uh, let's go and pay this one off right now. We have just enough money. And so now interest is going to be continuing to decrease and we'll earn more money every month. So we've almost paid off our loans. We're doing it pretty quick actually. Uh, unpopular mathematician. Say let them talk, get some innovativeness, innovativeness and, and lose prestige. Or say he's an embarrassment, gain us prestige and legitimacy. We're just going to take the prestige hit because we, we get so many events that add up the prestige. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just take the prestige hit. I know this is going to affect us and all those little stats there. Uh, most of those are regarding war. So I do feel uh, we'll probably get another event where we might be able to increase prestige through that. Uh, it does look like it's slowly decreasing as well. Uh, we had a time there where we had enough modifiers where I think it was like set to be at like 75 uh, at all times. Uh, peasants are upset, so we are going to have a rebellion. I hate when we get these rebellions here uh, because you can't really like, you know, plan for that. It just happens based on the event. Uh, so now we have to come here and you know they're going to seize control of this province, which is unfortunate because then they add that negative modifier there. Uh, I, I really feel like rebels shouldn't be able to, to I don't know, uh, you can't stop them. Uh, 30 days, you have to have an army right there. And they uh, give you some very harsh penalties. And the reason for this is because uh, this system, where the rebels, when they take a province, they give you really harsh penalties, was added before 
they had this new concept of, uh, you know, with the forts, where the forts take time, but only a few provinces have forts. Instead, most provinces only take, you know, 30 days because they don't have forts. So they, they changed the system up where you could take most of the provinces in a country in 30 days, but they never removed this mechanic. So, you know, there's no way to stop rebels from giving you extremely harsh penalties unless you had, I mean, uh, an army that was right nearby uh, where that rebellion happened to be. Uh, so, yeah, it's just, uh, I really need to fix that, I feel. So, uh, let's go ahead and get an advisor. We'll probably go with one that gives us a benefit we want, since I'm not really, I don't think any of these guys are cheaper. Well, this guy could be cheaper. I'm not entirely sure. 11.93, I think that's actually about normal for a plus three. So, yeah, I want to say we don't have any cheaper advisors. So, with that in mind, it really doesn't matter who we get. We'll just get somebody with a, a good modifier that will also allow us to make them better. Because uh, yeah, I don't really want to get this level three guy. Uh, National manpower uh, is is not key, first of all. I know that we're trying to build our manpower up and that would make it build faster, uh, but just a little bit. And then in addition, we wouldn't be able to, to make him any more uh, uh, better. Which remember, we just lost a level four advisor, so we won't get him. So we'll just get level one, and I think uh, the discipline guy is probably the best. You know, anything that gives discipline is a fantastic bonus. So because that results in more damage to enemies and less damage to your your own troops. So we'll go ahead and take them up just a little bit. Get them up to level two. Remember, we are still trying to get uh, the, finish up the defensive ideas uh, and just looking at what we're going to get in the future. Okay. So yeah, we want to get that knocked out soon. I wanted to get it done before the next tech became available. I don't think that's going to happen. But yeah, now we just got 10% autonomy in there, and there really wasn't much that I could do to stop that. Uh, and then plus, like, how often do you have your troops, like, not drilling and completely paid for so that they're able to go deal with rebellions and stuff like that? Uh, probably not very often. Uh, there's no river penalty. There's no, uh, defensive, uh, penalty at all, so we can go and attack them there. We do need to get our morale up just a little bit more, though. Uh, growth of the administration. So, see what we want to get here. Basically, we're picking a counselor and getting the benefits that they provide, and this will also impact the loyalty of two yeah two of the estates okay uh so this is gonna piss off somebody no matter what we do somebody's gonna get pissed off so basically it's about really who we want to piss off and what bonus we want the diplomatic relations is nice but it's only for 10 years so you just get you get another diplomatic relation and then you know 10 years from now you gotta cancel it uh global trade problem is probably what we'd want yeah, I think that's what we'll likely get. Again, this will piss the nobles off, but they're going to get pissed off if we pick either one of these, so it really doesn't matter. Yeah, let's just go with this one. Self-men made are what we need to run this country. All right, how are we looking on the uh, modifier here? It's still 60, 60%, so we got to get through the rest of this year before we'll, we'll take a look at it again, though we are at the cap on Diplo Power. My bad, I didn't see that, guys. We should have spent that. Yeah, that is my bad. Uh, let's go and do that now. Uh, and we're going to just do it through here again so that I can do it based on the actual trade goods that we have there. Though I think we will go ahead and increase Milan once simply because I'm, I'm always trying to build them up higher and get them more building slots. I know that we're not using all of our building slots right now. Uh, let's go and put, oops, I want to put it into this one. All right, so that has got rid of those problems, but let's go ahead and do a little bit more into development, uh, into if we can do things for paper and let's again sort this by good here in glass. I'm always trying to get the glass ticked up some. There we go. So Sienna, we're putting a lot of points into Sienna there. Let's see if there's any other one we want to put into. I think paper is one that we wanted to make sure we keep high, although these are pretty expensive. Yeah, we'll do one point into Roma. All right, excellent. We'll take a look at the, uh, the trades again real quick just to see how things are looking on the market share. Uh, so we're up to 23% for wine, 20% for glass. We're really getting up there. Uh, paper just barely holding on. Oh, actually, we don't even have the trading bonus yet. Yeah, we still have to get that up to 20%. And that's pretty much all we're really able to compete for right now. Uh, and then the peasants were successful. I completely forgot about them. Damn it. Yeah, this thing was... Oh, shit. <laughs> Ah, damn, guys, my bad. I completely forgot about the rebels and just went and played that. That was that was stupid. So they did seize not only another province, uh, increasing the autonomy and the penalties we get there, but this is a fort. So now we have to sit here and siege this damn thing. So whatever. Uh, let me see if I can avoid a river penalty here. 
probably not. We have to go up north to avoid it. So we'll go up here. And we're just going to go ahead and, you know, we'll, we'll get control of this real quick since that'll only take a month. And we can hire a court painter, increase in our prestige, and get admin power. Uh, we are not quite able to do that without having to take another damn loan. How much are we earning per month? 38.55. I think if we let this sit for a little while, I need to slow this down. When I play this quick, I often do miss little things, like not paying attention to the, the fact that we have a rebellion right now. And then, and then you really pay for it because you got it going so fast so the months just fly by. So we'll destroy those guys. We'll have to retake our damn uh, fort, which is a, a real shame. I don't know how many troops are here. Uh, 960. I was going to say we could just assault it. Uh, but I suppose it's fine. We'll siege it the slow way. Uh, so again, I'm trying to get the money to be able to do this. And I think now it's 390. Really? <laughs> oh, okay. It's getting more expensive because we're earning more money. So we had enough money. Now we have to wait another month and hope that the event doesn't uh, auto-choose for us. Uh, so let's see here. We have the last re government reform uh, that we can do, which is the separation of power. There's not really much of a choice here because uh, a lot of these are like become republic or install a theocratic government, just letting you change away from a monarchy if you wanted to. Could go with the legislative houses. This gives us one plus administrative policy that's not a free one though guys that is not the free modifier here so if we were to look at this here you know we can have a, a possible of three uh admin policies all this allows us to do is have four which means that we could have you know four of these and it would take for one of these two here but it's not a free one and, and that does cost power every month so something to consider uh but yeah we won't be we won't be doing that one. Uh, and then we have this one, which gives us the absolutism, which I think would be helpful. So that's the one we're going to select. And we are officially done with reforming our government. Now, we can always change these up using the uh, government reform points. But I don't know if we earn any. I would assume we would keep on earning them uh, as they go. All right, so hopefully this doesn't disappear here. I don't remember how long the events stay up. But it's only a certain amount of time. We now have enough money. Let's go and hire this guy, get that power, get that prestige. Uh, so, again, that's why I did that one event that resulted in us losing prestige, because I knew we'd get another event that we could get it back from. Remember, we do have the religious turmoil disaster that's likely going to happen. Again, there's really, there's just nothing I can do about it, though. Uh, we can't get religious unity higher. We're trying our best, but I mean, we can't do that. And then we could, you know, get humanist, but we don't even have an ideal group open. So that's not really an option either. Should have this fort siege down soon. We have finished up in Venice. And so now, let's go ahead. Uh, we do have to wait for that diplomat to get back. And now we're going to want to... I don't remember where, it at, where it's at here. We want to annex our vassal. This is going to cost some of that diplomatic power that we have in excess of. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Uh, that'll give us their troops as well as any ships they have out there. Uh, most importantly, we're going to get control of their capital here, 29 development, and we'll also get Crete, which is 17 development here. So yeah, we'll get control of all their ships. Uh, I don't know if we'll keep them all. I suppose we'll see. Finished up that. Uh, let's go ahead and go back down here, and then we'll continue drilling. And did lose some local goods being produced there. I'll have to take a look and see what's all been revealed. Let me get these guys down here real quick. So we can uh, get them training again. Contacts in the Holy See. Uh, so we can say whatever we can do to help. This will cost administrative power and we'll get another cardinal that we don't need. Because again, we are at uh, the highest number possible. Well, we're at six, so we could use the seventh one. But we get that anyway. I'd prefer to just say our administration has other priorities and get the admin power. Uh, so let's get these guys drilling here. And then we'll take a look and see how colonization has been going. Uh, you can see that our diplomats are no longer have anything to do because uh, they have already improved relations with everybody there is to improve relations with. Uh, could of course change that up, but I don't see any point to it. And we're not attacking anybody soon, so there's not even reason to like uh, do any espionage. I mean, there are a few actions we can actually do now. Uh, we have unlocked the tech for the, the few different things we can do uh, with having a little bit of uh, espionage on a country. Just kind of taking a look at the expansion here of the Europeans in America, seeing how they're doing. Uh, the French are definitely starting to focus a lot more on it than they were. Now the English do still have control of uh, more Brazil than the French do. We're seeing if they've started to move down 
further into Africa, which they have. You see the Spanish here have uh, stopped the, the British from going further north there. And... Oh, okay, so they are now an electorate. They're an elector in the HRE. Uh, that's not the HRE. It's here. I wonder who was annexed, uh, who disappeared. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm, I am noticing that the Pope is no longer in here. Remember, they had been made one uh, for a time there. Uh, do we want to go ahead and buy anything here? Uh, what do we get? Do we still get the three? Yeah, we still get the three innovativeness. Uh, if we wanted to purchase this here, it is 7:43, and we're in September, so might as well wait till it drops down, like to uh, the 40% modifier before we, before we do that. And of course, the nobles are are still disloyal. That should increase soon, but we are getting a penalty from that, uh, so that's where we're getting that penalty. Which unfortunately, that manpower recovery speed is not good, since it's the main reason why we need to stay at peace is to get this manpower built back up, since we've already almost paid all of our loans off. So let's go and get the defensive mentality. This will help with fort maintenance cost. Also, we need to stop paying for that fort and uh, also improve our fort defense. So it'll take longer for people to take control of our forts. So yeah, let's go and stop paying for that one. And that'll help. Are we paying for this one? We are not. All right, excellent. And can we pay back the loan? Let's take a look and see if we can pay this back. It's gonna require 406, so we're just short of being able to pay that back. Yeah, but we are earning a lot of money right now. Uh, not quite as high as we were before, so our economy is still not quite at the same level. Uh, and the Hungarians have paid all foreign debts of the Austrians. Okay. Uh, can we pay this off now? Yeah, we can. Oh, just short. And it keeps increasing too, it seems. Why is it increasing? That's strange. Maybe that was, uh, when I was looking at it and said 406, maybe that wasn't including the uh, interest? perhaps, and that's why it was 425? Might have been. Uh, but I thought that included the interest. Uh, maybe it didn't. Let's go ahead and get uh, this admin ideas here, and we'll still get the innovativeness. Just kind of spend that since we're getting kind of close to the cap here. Uh, this will allow us to get the mills, uh, and then we'll also get production efficiency. I, I think there's a couple places I wanted to build mills, uh, and now that all of our loans are finally paid off, we could go ahead and start investing in buildings again. So we could get the mill in those uh, provinces I wanted to get them in. Uh, other options would be to get those buildings that add the naval force limit, since we are above the naval force limit, paying a little bit of extra money for that. And plus, uh, oh, we're no longer above the force limit. Interesting. Uh, probably from increasing the uh, development of Siena, is what I would guess. So that'll allow us to build some ships. Uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna do. I feel like our war fleet is large enough. Obviously our transport fleet is just the right number that we needed. Uh, as, long, as long as our armies are at 25 units. So we should probably get some trade ships uh, to replace those losses that we took. Let's see where we want to build these. Again, just kind of look for the places that take the least time. So we'll build uh, two more. There we go. So that'll get us up uh, four more trade ships that we can send out there. Uh, currently we only have the 10 ships here that are patrolling that they're protecting the trade here, and then they also have one ship with the, uh, uh, it's fighting pirates, doing pirate hunting. And so with those new ships, we'll probably wanna send them to one of the areas that are a little bit more profitable, so we won't send them here. Uh, probably back to Alexandria, I imagine. I think that was the most profitable uh, before. That's also how that, that fleet got destroyed since you know we went to war with the Mamluks, and they were able to quickly destroy them before they could make their way back home, and that would likely happen again if we end up at war with them again, which I assume we would. You know, once we conquer this territory here, it's gonna piss them off. I already know that's gonna happen. Uh, I wanna attack Naples next, they're our next goal. Uh, aggressive expansion in Europe is is no longer gonna be an issue, I think, by that point. Uh, but we do need to get manpower up higher, just in case it doesn't end up becoming a big conflict. And you never know when one of your allies is gonna pull you into a war. Uh, speaking of allies, you know what we could be doing? Let's go ahead and put some of these favors we have into trust get the trust up with some of our allies. Yeah, there we go, we'll get them up as well. And who else are we allied? I don't even know who all we're allied to anymore. Looks like those are our only allies. Uh, and then the other two slots are being taken up with that marriage to Spain, which again, I'm not gonna ally them. They never support us in our wars, uh, offensive or defensive, so screw them. We'll just wait till the marriage ends. Uh, and then of course the Venetians are the other slot, uh, which will be dealt with soon. How long is this gonna take? March 1597, so about five more years uh, before we're gonna be able to uh, get the Venetians annexed. 
and we do have these ships done so let's go and get them out there uh, although let's just put them all together so I can see exactly how much the four ships all together are going to increase our, our income uh, so let's go and select a mission protect trade and again it's probably going to be in Alexandria yeah it does seem Alexandria is the most profitable so we'll go ahead and go there that's four ships and earn us a little bit more money uh, speaking of money we do have some money to spend uh, so let's go ahead and get some uh, buildings uh, so if I can find the damn building tab so again we do have the the new location to build these manufactories but we couldn't build them before also I'm noticing that here in Siena we could get the, the glass one so I think we probably should so the paper locations would be good too as would the sugar uh, but let's go ahead and start with the glass that's all we have the money for right now and yeah, we'll just continue building manufactories. Uh, just trying to get those trade bonuses, the production bonuses, and all that good stuff. Uh, so we can't get the diplomatic tech. It's not as far as head now. Uh, and we are in a new year. So yeah, let's just go and get it. Let's then increase our trade efficiency by a little bit. Result in a, a small extra amount of money. We are at 50 ducats per month now. Uh, so not bad. Uh, so yeah, this will allow us to uh, you know, build up our uh, build up all those, uh, those buildings we still need to get. And uh, continue trying to get these these nice little trade bonuses that I think are helping us out quite a bit. Uh, we can probably go up to speed five again. I do expect many years of peace here to get this damn uh, manpower built back up. Uh, I think it's 20 or is it 25 years uh, to go from zero manpower to maximum manpower? Uh, there's a modifier for that. Of course, it is affected by the speed in which manpower recovers, uh, and you can see that we are getting a very nice bonus there of about 28, 29 percent. Uh, so it wouldn't quite take that long for us to get all the way up, but it does take a long time to build your manpower supplies back up. Uh, unfortunately, our advisor has died, and I don't think he was a cheaper one, so uh, that's another thing we need to do, is we need to promote these guys here. Let's get one more guy, though, so make sure we have the money to get another guy. Let's see who we want to get. Uh, I don't think we have any cheaper ones available. No. Uh, no 50% cost ones. Uh, so really, it's just about getting somebody that we can we can improve and this is the only one that we can improve is this guy here he starts at level one so we'd have to improve him twice I don't know if that's worth it rather than just hiring a level three guy right from the start yeah I think that's what we'll do is just a higher level three guy get that extra prestige our prestige is dropping kind of quick so this should improve it a bit yeah shouldn't drop as quickly now uh, let's go ahead and get this guy promoted and I'd like to promote him to level four that would cost quite a bit of money though, uh, so I don't know if we'll be able to do that or not. Uh, so these truces have expired from that last coalition war, uh, so either one of us could declare war on each other. Another reason not to, to go to war anytime soon though is because yeah, we're about to get this religious turmoil uh, disaster. In fact, I think that'll happen in this episode. It should happen soon. Uh, we got a new pope. Uh, Spain is the controller. Uh, that's unfortunate. We do have enough points. Uh, to go in and get something here, and we will. Uh, I'm not going to put it in towards getting the next pope. Maybe we'll spend. Yeah, we'll spend that last five points uh, towards you know getting a little bit of influence here. But for right now, let's go and get ourselves a modifier. Uh, could go with the prestige. Uh, that would actually be pretty close to making it so that we actually earn prestige. I think. Uh, how is our inflation doing right now? I haven't really paid attention to it. It is kind of getting uh, built up due to all those loans. So taking that down would be helpful. Uh, let me see how long this this last year. Till 1613, uh, so that would be helpful. Could also get the mercantilism. Let's go and get the forgive, forgive the usury, if I'm pronouncing that right, uh, so that we can try and tick down our inflation. I, I try and stay at zero inflation in this game. Uh, I know some people don't care about it as much, uh, but I always try try and stay at zero if I can. So visit from some shady people. We've seen this event. I don't know if we've seen it in this series, but we've seen it several times before. Uh, we're just going to get some more prestige. Uh, Cardinal Minister. And of course, we've gotten this event many, many times. Uh, for right now, let's get this one because that is going to increase our missionary strength. And one thing I've been wanting to do, and I keep forgetting, is to take a look if there's any decisions here we might want to get now that would help with the, the missionary strength because we have a serious problem. We're trying to convert these provinces. Look at how much faster we're going to do it now. Now that we got that one bonus here. Uh, but yeah, we've had problems. We just can't uh, get them converted very fast. I mean, it took five years to do that last one. Uh, so yeah, I think maybe looking at some of these decisions where before we were looking at them like, you know, they weren't really worth the cost of them considering the fact that we didn't have any provinces to convert. 
Let's just see what we might want to get here. Now I'm seeing this one. I don't really want to get the institution embracement cost, but we might go for that. Just because. Uh, we could also do the embrace the counter reformation. That does increase the, the cost of several things though. It does give us more missionaries though. So that would be uh, quite useful. Yeah, getting two more missionaries. But man, the technology and ideas cost. Yeah, I don't like that. Uh, but man, we'd be able to uh, convert so much faster. So yeah, I guess we'll do this. We'll take the uh, the hit, I suppose. So we'll do that. I don't know if we'll do this one now. Uh, this will open up uh, a lot of provinces for us to convert here. We can do three at a time now. And yeah, we can get them done even quicker. I feel like this is a decent time here, though. However, uh, that one thing we just did did not give us the ability to convert the Muslims quicker. It only works against heretics. So you know what? We will do this one as well. Because uh, we're going to be expanding further into Muslim territory, so there's going to be a lot of converting that's going to be necessary. That reduced this by one month. So let's go and start working on three provinces at a time. Again, it's not going to save us uh, from having the disaster. We can't avoid that. Uh, but I, I think you need to get the religious unity up to, to end the disaster. So this is good that we're working towards this, guys. So there's one conversion successful. Uh, and if we wanted to... Let's go and get another one done. We're at 65%. Uh, so yeah, this is, is not going to end it. Uh, just take a look at when it's going to happen. I'm just looking for it. I think it's in this one here. Uh, oh, it's not happening anymore. Huh. That's interesting. I wonder why. Uh, I wonder if, if you embrace the Counter-Reformation, if that stops it from, from happening. Uh, yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, but we'll take it. Uh, I really didn't want to get that uh, disaster happening. So, what do we want to do here? We get the Tuscan Reform Trader again. He's cheaper, but we wouldn't be able to improve him at all. And I think we already have this. Yeah. Uh, or we can do this one. Italy gains influential trading family, which will give us uh, trade power. Yeah, I suppose we'll do that one. That's in Alexandria. So having more trade power there I think would be useful. Get us a little bit more money here. And we have converted another province, although it looks like it was one of our provinces that was in fact converted. Did they come back here? Yeah, they did. Alright, so they're back here. So I guess it's a good thing that we got that embrace the counter-reformation. We're going to be converting a lot of provinces, guys. Uh, is this, they really just are, those reformation centers are just really focusing on our territory, unfortunately. Causing us all sorts of religious issues. I'm glad that that uh, disaster's gone, though. Uh, again, I, I don't know if it was because we embraced the Counter-Reformation. If I had to guess, that's what I would say it was from. Let's go and get some more buildings going, guys. We'll also take a look see. Yeah, we do have one more space for a, a trade ship. Uh, so we'll get another light ship built. But first, let's go and get some of these buildings done. Again, I think we're going to continue with the manufacturers of uh, locations that will help us with those trade bonuses. Uh, so yeah, we'll do, we'll do one right here. And then we're also going to build one more early frigate here. See where we want to do this. Looks like this is the quickest place. 222 days, and we'll send. Uh, we'll be sending that one uh, to Alexandria as well. Uh, I did forget that I was going to invest in this, so we'll go and invest a little bit just to get a few points in here, so we have like you know a little bit of a chance of, of perhaps becoming the, the papal controller. Uh, let's go ahead and do the last Muslim province that we can convert. The rest of these, of course, are those reformed ones that. Uh, you know, have that modifier that keep us from being able to convert them. And that modifier does last, as we saw in the last episode, a very long time. Our heir, Ferdinando, is righteous. And so that's going to give him more legitimacy. Probably not one of the more useful ones, since legitimacy typically stays kind of high. Unless you end up getting a an heir who has a weak claim. Uh, so let's we'll see what we want to do in this event. Yeah, we'll do this one. This one we typically do. I don't, I don't care if we piss off the, the Spanish. They pissed me off. They should be asking me for forgiveness. So now we'll have uh, missionaries just sitting here not doing anything once we finish up with that one province. Uh, so one thing I would really like to see is they, they added something for you to do with your colonist uh, when the, you're not actually colonizing. Uh, so they gave you a, a different option to use those. I'd really like to see them do that with the uh, with the, the priests, the clergy. Uh, what are they called in here? Get missionaries? Yeah, the missionaries. I'd really like them to, to see them give you something to do with missionaries when you don't have anything to convert. That'd be really nice to have. Uh, just some type of option similar to what colonists can do. Uh, the risk of trade. Uh, wow. God, good God, I hate how the, how much more expensive things get. I really think Paradox needs to fix that a little bit. 
you know, when they, they base everything off of, you know, your your total income. So you just get where it costs like thousands and thousands of ducats in the late game for very little benefit. Because back, you know, when they when they balance these, you know, events, they balance them for, you know, the early game, it seems like. So you, you pay like 100 something ducats and you get it, you know, an OK bonus. But when you want me to pay 800 ducats for that same bonus, it just doesn't feel worth it. Like, not at all. Uh, but in this case, how long would it take us? It'd probably take us too many months to earn, and I'm not taking a, another loan just to get this. Yeah, we're just gonna have to say they knew what they're getting into. It's gonna piss them off a bit. They do lose some influence though, so their influence is getting kind of high. So it might be good to to do that. Manpower is almost up to the maximum. We're trying to get it up to eighty thousand, uh, so it's getting up there. Uh, and, it, and we don't need to wait till it gets all the way up there. Uh, I would like to get these completed though. That would be nice. Uh, but I think we're to the point. Yeah, we're going to get going to want to get the military ideal group next. Uh, this is going to be a total of 501. It's not much, so we'll just wait. We will not invest in this here, not yet. Uh, Reinforced speed is nice, though. I'd really like to have that uh, for the conflict, but unfortunately, we won't. All right, so let's go ahead and spend this money, and then after that, we might start getting prepared for the conflict. Can't get another uh, trade ship. We're going to get that going here. And then we should also go ahead and send this trade ship out while I'm thinking about it. Uh, again, probably to Alexandria. Give us some more money there. All right, so uh, let's go ahead and get another one of those buildings constructed. Uh, another manufacturing here in the paper province. And I think we'll be going to war soon, guys. Very, very soon. And yeah, they just continue to convert our damn provinces, man. Yeah, it's causing us a lot of issues. Uh, but at least we don't have to worry about the disaster. Uh, but again, though, our entire country is going to be converted soon. Uh, at least the entire north. Uh, and then we do get penalties for being the wrong religion there. So we can go to get the military attack. We will. That's the last thing I really wanted to do here. Before we... Uh, we do got a new artillery. Uh, before we go to war. Let's go ahead and change these out now. And... Are we ready? Let me just take a look at where our drill's at. We're actually at 100 here. Probably for all of our... These guys weren't drilling. Damn it. Ah, that was stupid of me. Are these guys drilling? They're not. They don't even have a leader. I think the leader just recently died, though. It's going to continue them drilling. And who are we going to war with if we attack Naples? Let's just take a look here. We're still trying to annex the Venetians. They have no allies, it seems. Yeah, they don't have any allies. They are a republic that's decreasing their relations with some countries. It's interesting that they have not a single ally. Uh, so let's go ahead and get our diplomats back. It's about another year to finish up the annexation of the Venetians. We should probably finish that, actually. Yeah, we'll finish that up before we go to war. That'll let us uh, continue drilling up our troops as well. Uh, these guys no longer need to drill, I don't think. Yeah, they're at 100. So let's go ahead and stop the drilling, and then that'll also allow us to decrease our maintenance, since we don't have to pay for that army there. And benign neglect. Uh, so this will give us a little bonus in that province. We'll have to see which one we want to get here. Uh, we'll see how much the trade power is even even worth here right now. 5.7. It's, it's not worth much. How about the tax income? Also not worth much. We'll just do the trade power then in that case. And we'll see. Yeah, that, that almost doubled it there. So, yeah, helpful. Get us more trade in our, our main trade area. A little bit more money. And France is having the war of uh, their war of religion. Okay. So they'll be dealing with that. Uh, probably likely see a lot of rebellions there. Although sometimes the wars of uh, religion there in France end up being pretty easy for them to, to deal with. Let's go ahead and invest a little bit more points into here. Try and get our chance up a little bit higher. We're at 21.4%. Looks like the Spanish are investing just as much as we are, though. Uh, do we want to build any more here? Uh, you can always get more grains, I guess. It doesn't really earn a lot of money, though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to build in those grain provinces. Uh, we could just build other things, like we've already talked about uh, getting some stuff for the naval force limit. We can also take a look if there's any like new provinces we have where this would be worth it. Uh, building either this or the the workshops. The workshop or the, uh, the church. I don't know which one I looked at. Nope, uh, really no good uh, values there. We can take a look at the, uh, we do have the training fields, so we could do that for even more manpower. I suppose that'd be worth it. 
Uh, we did run out of manpower last time, so yeah, let's go ahead and, and improve these regions here where we already have them, so it's not going to take a building slot. And it's really not that expensive either. That allows us to uh, improve our maximum manpower. We're sitting at 81,000 right now. Yeah, so as soon as we finish up that annexation, we'll attack Naples. And everybody's dealing with internal issues, so we're not the only ones that have some problems here, you know, with this religion. We do uh, have to get another advisor. Our advisors are dropping like flies, man. Uh, and I never did improve this guy further. I wanted to get him up a bit more. Uh, so that's what we'll spend the next little batch of money that we get. Could get the missionary strength here. Uh, I suppose that would be helpful, although I don't know if it's going to be enough to be able to, to, to convert anybody uh, past. Oops. Let's just take a look and see how far we are in the negative here. Yeah, I mean, they have like... Yeah, these are all because of that modifier, so we won't be able to convert any of them. So it's really pointless getting a bonus for conversion. It would only help these two provinces, which are both almost done. Uh, so no point on getting the uh, Inquisitor, I feel. Uh, not yet. It's going to just it's take too long until we get rid of some of those modifiers. I don't think we start getting rid of them until the early 1800s. So instead, we should get somebody else. Again, though, there's really no options where we can actually tick them up. I suppose we'll do... You see we're, how we're sitting on inflation. Remember, we did get that modifier. It is ticking down, but only a little bit. So you know what? We'll go ahead and make it tick down faster. And he's the only advisor we can actually improve. There we go. Beautiful. So the next little batch of money we get, we'll, get, we'll put them towards getting our military advisor ticked up. We will have to get 700-something before we're able to do that. Uh, we do have a possible... Uh, rebellion over here. We'll just kind of pay attention to it. Uh, again, I'm probably just going to fight it. I don't see any reason to uh, try and avoid conflict with it. Uh, we'll use these guys here. We do have to try and pay attention to it, wherever the hell it's at, so that when it hits 90%, I can stop these guys from drilling. I know I'm going to miss this. It should happen anytime soon, actually, so maybe I should just stop now so I don't miss it. Uh, integrating Venice. So we have finished that up. Excellent. Uh, that gave us uh, a little bit of prestige. So we have new mercenary companies available now as well. And we can now turn this into a state. I don't know that we want to do that right now, actually. Again, it's just not... Uh, probably just not worth it in this particular area. Because I don't know that we'll conquer Greece anytime soon. Yeah, I think we'll leave that one as is for now. Uh, we can convert uh, Venice, so we'll go ahead and do that. So that'll be helpful. Uh, we did gain all of their stuff, uh, so we do have to figure out what we want to do with all that. So with the 5,000 men, could keep them and, and start a new army. Uh, I think we have just enough force limit to build a fourth army of 25,000. So I guess this will be the start of that. We'll move them on over to here, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll build a, a new army. Uh, though the manpower is going to be an issue with that. I'm trying to keep that high. Uh, let's go and make use of these guys. Uh, what all do we have here? Are they all galleys? They're all galleys. Let's see how high our force limit is now. I assume we're way over it. Yeah, we're quite a bit over it right now. Uh, just taking a look and seeing how that is affecting us. Let's we'll see if uh, it's costing us a lot of money. It's really not too bad uh, for right now. I suppose we can go ahead and, and, and that's also though, part of that is because of the fact that we have all these fleets mothballed, so that's something to consider. Uh, let's go ahead and send these guys out to protect trade in Alexandria. And you know what, I might just get rid of these light ships that need to be upgraded anyway. I was trying to get us up to 20 total light ships. How many light ships do we currently have? Uh, we currently have uh, 25, so what we'll do is get rid of like all of these guys but one because I do have to upgrade them uh, so that's another thing to consider I think the brigs are the the updated ones no 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 we're in early frigates now so these are, are quite old these are the oldest so we're just going to get rid of all of those I don't have to pay for those anymore the brigs are a little bit more modern let's take a look and see if there's any other trade ships that we had gotten out there I think these are all okay we'll get rid of this guy and just trying to get that force limit down a bit. Uh, the Venetians had a very large fleet overall. I should have took a look at where all their ships were so that we could we could find them out here. All right, so with these guys, let's go ahead and split them off. Pull these two out. 
select these guys and just get rid of them for now. It's not really all that expensive to build those ships, first of all. So uh, I don't really mind getting rid of them. And then we have all these guys as well. Then we're gonna have a just we just got a massive galley fleet. It's a huge, huge galley fleet, guys. We'll pay for them since we are now going to be attacking uh, Naples soon. Let's go ahead and pay for our military. Uh, somewhere. <laughs> pay for the damn military. We'll take a look at the drill and see how these guys are doing. These guys are not drilling. This is the new army we're building. Uh, are these guys still drilling and needing it? They are. We'll keep them there uh, for now. And these guys are still drilling too. I, I think we're going to go ahead and stop them from drilling. Because I'm not going to be able to pay attention to when that rebellion's happening. So we want to make sure that they have full morale so they can deal with the rebellion. Uh, we could force the rebellion as well, but remember that it is much larger if we do that. Uh, that would be a total of 22 regiments. So yeah, I don't see any point on, on doing that, guys. Alright, so we just need to get our morale up higher here. Is this the guy that we want leading? He's our 4-4 guy. I want to say that he's our... No, he's our, our best guy. I mean, this guy technically is better. Uh, because he has the more shock than fire. But I think we'll keep him in charge. Uh, for this army, let's go ahead and, and get them uh, building. I'm going to get some more troops over here. See what all we need. Uh, so we need, like... I mean, we don't have a lot. Oh, we might have to wait a little bit before we go to war. Just to get our, our uh, money built back up. Uh, so let's go ahead and get... I'm trying to build here, it won't let me. Uh, let's get three more cab units. And then let's get a few infantry here. I don't know what all we need just yet, so. Alright, so we'll get that all built, and then we'll see how it looks, how the army looks. I know that that's not quite enough. Uh, religious uproar. Uh, uproar, excuse me. Uh, I guess we'll take... I guess we'll take the unrest. And the infantry. Bring them on over here, bring everybody on over here. We'll take a look and see what all we still need to uh, build for this army here. Alright, so we're up to 15,000. Uh, we are still building the artillery units, though. So we'll see how much further we are. I think we would probably need to build like another 5,000 men. Uh, we got another a new emperor. Uh, the ruler of Austria died, and he was, of course, as he expected, re-elected. So we wouldn't have to do another royal marriage with him, and I suppose we will. Uh, I'm actually surprised that we've maintained this royal marriage throughout the game, or retained this alliance. I thought there was no way I was going to be able to maintain a, a alliance with the um, with the the emperor for so long, and I, I forgot to. I don't want to have those guys mothballed. Let's go ahead and have. Oh, why can't we upgrade these guys? Oh, the brig is a transport ship. My bad, guys. I was thinking that was a light ship. Um, yeah, we don't need this light ship here. Or excuse me, this transport ship. <laughs> Let's go ahead and pull these guys off. Let's just delete this. No reason to pay for that. I know they're not incredibly expensive. So we're going to merge all these. And now we have a war fleet of 49 ships. That's uh, way more than necessary. I think we'll, we'll probably split that up for battling the uh, whatever fleet they have. If they even have a fleet. They have, they have five ships. But we could use that for the, the sieges. Uh, making sure that we control the seas. So I think we just need to wait until our uh, ships are repaired here. Yeah. And then we'll be ready to go. And then we'll send them out there. Destroy Naples fleet, whatever they have. And then uh, just kind of blockade them. Uh, so far, they still have not gotten any allies. Uh, they might not have anybody who wants to ally them. Uh, so we got an event here. Radical reforms. Let's see what we want to get. So we can get some, a lot of mercantilism for some stability. That's quite a bit. Uh, we could do this one, which is 200 admin power, but we do lose... Our master of mint, which we've already put some points into, uh, trying to improve. I think we, I think we improved them by one at least. So that'd be one option. That is 200 admin power. We are actually maxed out on admin power. We should probably spend that. Uh, we could get uh, diplo power. Okay, so basically, it's whether you want to replace these these guys and get admin or diplo power for them. And I don't know that we do. Yeah, I don't think we're going to do that. Let's just get the mercantilism. Mercantilism is nice to have. Uh, and 5% is a big old jump. Uh, as you guys seen, we only get one each time we spend 50 papal influence. Uh, so that was a big jump. And now we're at 25%, which is pretty darn good. Alright, awesome. Uh, so, are these guys drilling? They are not. So we could be drilling them. 
We'd have to get them an advisor. Uh, let me just see who we could pull from. Or excuse me, uh, a leader. Well, we kind of need the leader over here to fight that rebellion. Hmm. And these guys are drilling as well. You know what? They, they won't build a drill for now. Because uh, we just don't have a leader for them. Alright, so we are going to attack these guys soon. Again, just repairing these ships up. Just get them a little bit better repaired. Uh, and we are now almost towards maximum admin power. How far away are we from the technology? I know we had already gotten it. Um, but just trying to see what the cost here is and what all it gets us. Okay. It does get us administrative efficiency, which is really nice to have. Uh, admin uh, admin efficiency impacts uh, how much you can take in territory. Uh, there's a few other things it impacts. Uh, I don't know if there's anywhere to see that modifier and uh, what exactly it does, but I know it affects a lot of things. Uh, so it's definitely something we want to get improved. Uh, let's go ahead and put it into development, I suppose. Uh, we could also increase our stability up to three if we wanted to. I'd prefer to do development, though. Uh, so let's see where the hell the development one is. I never remember which one of these is development. And uh, continue to improve the locations with the glass and the other goods that we're trying to get control of. I guess we should do in some of these paper provinces where we could really use it. So maybe here again. Yeah, it's not too bad of a cost at all. And that allows to improve the uh, base production a bit more. Let's go and tick it up here in Encona. It's pretty cheap there. And I think that's probably good. Yeah, I think that's good. Spent a good chunk of our admin power, about half of it. And uh, continuing to get a lot of papacy points here for uh, conversions. Knocking those out. Uh, I guess we'll invest one more time and that'll probably be it. Um, and from here on out, we'll just get these. This gives us right now a good 26% modifier. 20% uh, 6% chance, I should say. Our royal marriage with Spain has ended. We actually have two open slots, so we could seek another alliance. Uh, so let's go and look at that and see who's all willing to ally us. Uh, and let's see here. So alliances. Let's see if there's anybody that we want to ally with. Uh, there are the British. Uh, of course, Spain is willing to ally with us. I've already determined that their alliances are useless. Uh, Lithuania would be useful since we are enemies with the Hungarians. Uh, so having them over here on this side would be helpful, though we would get dragged into all those eastern conflicts, which I don't really think is uh, worth it. Let's take a look and see who the Austrians are currently allied with. They're allied with Spain. It's voice pretty much everybody we're allied with. Uh, just look at the uh, British here. Maybe Portugal. Uh, they're currently allied with Spain, though, so they wouldn't help us. What we really need is somebody who would help us in a war with Spain, since they are a threat. Uh, and then uh, at war with the Hungarians would be helpful, too, because look at the Hungarians, man. They have conquered all this Ottoman territory. Uh, they came in after we had weakened the Ottomans considerably, and then came and swept through and, and uh, just decimating them. So I think the Ottomans are going to lose territory on this. The Ottomans aren't doing so well. Between the Mamluks on one side and, and now the Hungarians on the other side. Uh, they are in a bad situation. So the Hungarians are a threat, uh, I feel. Are they still allied? No, they are not. They are not still allied with the Austrians. They are uh, allied with the Bohemians, also our enemy. So you know what? I think Lithuania would probably make a good ally. They are allied with Denmark, though, which Denmark is our rival. Yeah, let's go and accept an alliance with Lithuania. We'll slowly start building some trust up there. All right, fantastic. Uh, so, we've been ready to declare war on, on uh, Naples. We were just kind of messing around here, building you know our manpower back up after I built those units. Uh, we do need to finish this army off, uh, which is looking, I think it's mostly uh, a couple infantry and a couple cannon. That's what we'd want to get here. Yeah, uh, I don't know how many we've been building it. We could also just build a template out. Uh, we could do the, define the army templates, and then you can just build them all at once, uh, which is pretty useful to have. Yeah, so it's going to be one infantry, and then the rest will be... Uh, I don't know why he's not building right there. I have some trouble clicking on that. And then the rest will be uh, cannons. So yeah, we'll get those built. And uh, I think we're ready, man. I mean, we've been ready. I mean, it wasn't... We were just really waiting on these ships here, which I suppose another month wouldn't hurt. Let them finish off the repairs so we can send them out there. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and go to war now, guys. Uh, we are going to approve that. Uh, let's go ahead and declare war on Naples. Could call our allies in. Uh, Austria would be willing to join. It's completely unnecessary. Let's not use the trust. I think we can do this just fine without any assistance. 
And we do have claims on all their provinces, so we should probably use it on the one that has the highest development along our borders here, which would be that 14 development province right there. Ava... Avellino? I don't know that the... I don't think the double L's in, in Italy... What am I doing? <laughs> I don't think the double L's in Italy are silent the way they are in Spanish. I could be wrong, though. In which case, it'd be like Avellino or something like that. Again, I, I, I turn all Italian into Spanish, even though it's uh, not pronounced the same way at all. Uh, they're similar, though. A little bit. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, confirm the war, and we will not be doing the war in this episode, guys. Unfortunately, uh, we'll have to do this in the next episode. We can't mothball all of our, and I don't know why I always click that when I'm trying to go to the damn military here. We can't mothball all of our forts, and then we'll just uh, have the forts going that are, you know, possibly going to be attacked here in Rome and Florence. We're going to get our fleet moving out. Uh, go ahead and destroy their fleet, uh, whatever they have out there. We'll actually split this fleet. There's no reason to have this many ships in one uh, fleet. We'll split them so that they can cover more zones and probably potentially completely blockade them. Uh, and then we'll also uh, sink any trade ships they have out there. Uh, but we'll be doing that next episode, guys. This is going to be the end of this one. Uh, we're going to be expanding further into southern Italy. Uh, so if you enjoyed the episode, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. I do hope to see you guys on the next episode, and thanks for watching.